to reserve. Uh, why is that going to come remember? And I did it, that's how it's going to look. Basically, you just turn them upside down, you, and then you do two little, like, you put the two ends across each other. Hello everyone, what is that? Welcome back to or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Alex Henry, and for today's YouTube video, I'll be making soft pretzels. So yesterday, my mum went to, oh, what shop was that? Aldi, she went to Aldi, and uh, bought this baked in soft pretzel baking kit for me to make because I actually get really bad hands. My doctor thinks it's hypermobility, but I've had a blood test over arthritis. So things like this really help my hands, and also I love pretzels. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. And of course, I'm making it indoors. I just wanted to come outside to film the intro and be like loud out here. All my family's in the living room and I didn't want to disturb them. This is everything it comes with. So you have how many bags? One, two, three, four, five, five bags. And these are the instructions. So I'm gonna quickly read these and then I'll let you guys know what else you need. Okay, so the first step is melt 35 grams of butter. So I just have this stalk fluffy cakes butter. And then you need milk. How much milk do you need, wait? We need 175 mils of milk. How lovely. Right, so we need 36 of it. Yeah. No, 35, sorry. That's 32, so we need three more. Three more grams. That's 38. Right, let me cut off a little bit. 37. How about just a little bit more? Five. It's 36. Oh no, it's 35. It's 35. Love that. Sorry, my dog's just come in from a walk. Oh, what is wrong with you? One. Ooh. Okay, so I've got that on basically. I feel like I should have probably melted the butter beforehand, but yolo. So I just put the milk I was currently using in a little glass and I'm first just gonna melt this now. This is my first ever time doing this, you guys, so do not judge. Time to add in my milk. That's currently just warming up. And then I have my bowl out ready um, and all my ingredients. So I need to put this in order. So we have one. Oh wait, I probably want that nearest to me. One, where's two? Is this two? No, that's four. While I wait for that to cool down, I just put the one tablespoon because that you need to reserve. Uh, why is that again? I can't remember. Okay, anyway, while that's cooling, I now need to empty one bag into here. I'm kind of a little bit confused, I'm not gonna lie. Right, one bag of flour into a large mixing bowl. Reserve one tablespoon for dusting. Right, so that's what that one is. That's for dusting. Okay, so I added the yeast. I added the sugar. I added the... What's the other one? Flour, flour as well. And then it said to make like a little well, so I've done that and then I'm gonna pour this stuff into that. Let's pour this in. Oh my God, oh my God, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so I just greased a bowl with butter. Now it's time, I need to knead that for 10 minutes. So I need to quickly pour that all over and knead that. And after 10 minutes, it's now all done. So I'm now gonna pop it in here and then i'll put it in our cupboard because it's like warm-ish and that's what it wants because it needs to rise chef's kiss while i wait 90 minutes i'm now going to clean up oh update time right so as you could just see from the last little like fun video i did i rolled them and now it's time to put them on the trays and start sculpting them and all that jazz okay so i always have to sculpt them but first things first let's put them on i made five and I did it, that's how it's gonna look. Basically, you just turn them upside down, you, and then you do two little, like, you put the two ends across each other. Don't look at me, is he? And yeah, right, I'm gonna do them. I made them a bit thick, so I have to literally, like, thin them down a little bit. Okay, so I just did my first one. Isn't it beautiful? I know. Jake's my mum did it for me, but now I'm gonna do the other one by myself, and this was not long enough before anyone comments it. And they're now all done, so now it's time to put them in the oven. So I made a mistake, they don't go in the oven first because I didn't read the packaging, thank you mother. So I have to boil it and then use this slotted thingy, grab the thingy, put it, the thingy in the thingy and that's how it goes. And then you add the bicarbonate and then you add the salt and then you put the thing, what's it called? Soft pretzels into the thing, which is the oven and you're done. And they are done. Look at how pretty they look. Look at that. That one's my favourite. Them two, when we were like putting them in the water thing, they kind of went a bit off. But that's fine, they're still going to be good. These three, however, look beautiful. 